Yo, you guys, what is going on? It's your boy, Blazendary Pokemon. You guys really enjoyed liking the video where I was talking about organizing, collecting, and storing my cards. Why don't we go ahead and talk about, in this episode, putting together a binder, going through one of my childhood binders, as you guys can see right here, a Platinum Supreme Victors. This was, oof, what a binder. I remember vividly going to the stores in 2007, 2008, 2009, and just buying these cards all the time if you guys are new around here please consider going ahead dropping a like and subscribing because i've been at this now for a very 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 long time a couple months putting together all these binders and putting together the envelopes as you guys can see in front of us that's how we're going to be sorting and storing the cards i talk about this process in my previous video which is why i recommend you go check it out before watching this one so let's go ahead and begin uh like i said i just pulled this supreme platinum victors binder right out I felt like it'd be really cool to review this, go through it, get the good cards in these top loaders and send out some of the ones I want to get sent out to get graded. With that being said, let's crack it open and start the sorting. So right off the bat, we're going to, of course, take out all the cards in the pockets. I know I was guilty of uh, definitely shoving more than one card in the sleeves. In fact, I might have more than one or two. Uh, but first up, we have a nice first card to grab. A 14 of 123 Mesprit Holographic. I mean, these things, I don't know the prices of them, but... Oh, yeah, this one's actually one of the nicer ones that I've kept in the collection. Don't know how I managed to keep this so nice over time. Because you guys are going to see, some of these cards are destroyed, some of these cards are fakes. Uh, this one right here, though, this is a Holographic. I don't think I'm going to go ahead and put this in a binder. Uh, I'm going to do that for a lot of the basic cards, but for this one, I'm going to put in a top loader instead. And we'll get the top loader going. I think that's going to be a lot better of a process for me. Because then over time I'll be like, hey, the ones that are in really good condition, I can go ahead and, you know, get them graded. And right here we have another holographic. This is a Salamence. This one's also in excellent condition. Uh, super nice Salamence right here. Definitely stoked on this. Okay, so coming up on a couple hollows right here. We have a Cresselia. This is going to be the Diamond and Pearl 51 promo. Hopefully it's in, uh, it's in all right condition. I'm going to go ahead and store this card. I do have one in my promos binder. I've just built up a couple basic cards right here from some random sets. So we'll, we'll organize those at the end. Ooh, nice Garantina right here from Platinum Set 2009. Super dope. Going to penny sleeve this one. Because sometimes the reverse hollows are, are rares. Like, like this one right here is a rare reverse hollow. So I could see this one doing some decent, uh, you know, some decent values. If I can come back and, you know, get it graded for a good price. So I'm going to go ahead and just not even do anything but just put this in a top loader. Slacking is nice too. Uh, it's actually really nice condition. So I'm going to go ahead and sleeve it. Don't think I'm going to put it in a top loader though, because Slacking isn't a Pokemon that I would really want to see in my graded card collection. And, oh, we've come across our first fake, and it's an unfortunate holographic fake. The indicators, the light blue is, you know, completely off. You can, you can completely tell right away when you compare it next to a real Pokemon card. Also, the feel of it, the, the actual print, the color, all off. And, you know, what, look when you bend it, the actual... Let's see. It's like a... It's like a peel. Really weird. All right. Well, we're going to go ahead and grab the fake bucket. I knew the fake bucket would be coming into uh, this video. So let's keep this in the bottom. And we'll push forward. Fake. Another fake, guys. And uh, behind it was actually a uh, holographic duck trio. It's not actually a rare, which is interesting. You know, you'd consider holographics to be rares. It does have some creases, so RIP any sort of good PSA grading. But what I can say is I'm going to sleeve it. Just It's not common to me to see that a holographic is not a rare. Oh, and a Zelf holographic with a nice swirl on it too. This one's a beauty. Let's see. Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. Might be PSA 8. If there's, oh, there's some scratches on the hollow foil. But like a Zelf, like I grew up with a Zelf is like the legendary in the games. And uh, Regigigas as well, but unfortunately the poor guy is a fake. This one's 
built out more like cardboard. More fakes right here. We'll just keep a fake pile next to us. Another one. Nice Lucario though from Platinum. Decent condition. Probably not worth wasting a penny sleeve on. Some fighting types. I, I think I was grouping them sort of by similar type. No, I don't know. Murko and yep, good. They're legit. And the last one is going to be a Wormadam and Luxio. Another page down. Oh, one of my favorite cards. Oh, I love this one. This is an 800 HP Magneton. Of course it's fake. But as a kid, I, I really valued this card because I, I always thought as a kid, yo, this is, a, this is a Magneton with 800 HP. Like Pokemon up. No, they didn't. I just had no idea it was, you know, a fake card. There's no TM and of course it's light blue. But why am I sleeving it? It's a childhood card to me that does have some value. I know it, it really has actually no value, but because it's a fake 800 HP, I'm just gonna top load it. I just like the, the rarity aspect of having like a fake, fake card. This, uh, this Metagross has also seen some, some better days. Oh, we got a nice Palkia Reverse Hollow from uh, the Galactic set. There's a huge, huge scratch mark on the back. What was I doing? Playing in some rocks? Let's keep going though. We'll keep pushing through this page. Curious to see what other hollows might be uh, on the next page. Now this one's right here. Fake. Good. This one's real. These are fake up here with the gold borders around them. So interesting how some of these fakes were made. This one actually feels more like a Pokemon card than the rest, but super fake. And Spiritomb. Articuno, fake, fake. These are both fakes, unfortunate. Let's see right here. Real Charmander, very cool Charmander. I like that Graveler artwork as well. Very cool, I love some of these original older artworks. Monferno's legit, but the crease, seen better days. Oof, Grovile, some of the starters. I see a Delta species lurking in the behind right there. Wormadam accompanied by a fake Voltorb. Hey, check that out. We got a starter, Infernape. Do you guys remember Infernape, Torterra, and um, what's the last one, Empoleon? I feel like a lot of people forgot about these guys, especially because I, I, I feel like I haven't seen them. Maybe I've seen Infernape in Sword and Shield. I don't remember, but uh, I think this actually belongs to the Stormfront set. Yeah, no, it does, Stormfront. Is it worth, I mean, it's sort of beat up. Maybe I'll go ahead and top load it just because Infernape was my starter of choice in Sinnoh. Finish up this page right here. We got some regulars, nothing. Okay, pushing along. Delta Species Swablu, Fake Caesar. This is a very awesome set. The, I think it's the EX Dragon Frontiers with the Delta Species. That set I know is going for some bread. I also think this reverse hollow energy is going for bread as well. So let's go ahead and sleeve that up. Yeah, that's also a Dragon Frontiers. Gosh, some there's too many random sets from like 2006 to like 2009. So I'm so I sort of lose track after like the original stuff. But I, I definitely have a good bearing as far as hey, this is a Delta species. I know this set in particular is worth more than some of the other sets in my binder. EX Power Keepers, that right there I know for a fact is a good one. Or it's the Hollow, maybe it's the Reverse Hollow. This one's actually in okay condition, just some creasing and some scratches. Ugh. Still gonna sleeve it up. Feel like, uh, feel like a lot of these sets over time, they've just, you know, they have the ability to go up in price. So I just wanna be careful as far as protecting the cards that are, are valuable. And, oh, what is this? Chimchar? Holographic? Oh, this is one of those uh, Pokemon Nintendo sets. I actually don't know too much about this. I just know there's like 17 cards per set. And I actually have a decent amount of these. I know for a fact 
Oh, what a shame. This Palkia is fake. Oh, we got some nice ones right here. Uh, and it, this one's in actually fantastic condition. Definitely a card I'm going to want to see graded. Aeron also used to be one of the starter Pokemon I would pick up along the way on the routes in some of the Game Boy games and use them all the way to the Elite Four. So nice to see I have a good looking Aeron to add to the collection. And I feel like this, this side is going to have a couple nice heavy uh, cards we're going to see here to add to the collection. Like this one right here, we have another Crystal Guardians with a uh, Dragon Frontiers. Oh yeah, so I was right, this is the Dragon Frontier set. We have a Delta Species Smoochum. This is a reverse hollow, but nonetheless an excellent card. I'm building up quite a bit of this, uh, this Dragon Frontier set. I really feel like as a kid, I bought a ton of it. So the binders won't be entirely filled up, you know, with the cards I have from when I was a kid because a lot of them are going to be in those PSA packs but I can say they're going to be filled up a ton with like these basic cards and I'll have a uh, maybe maybe a couple duplicates here and there so it, it won't it won't bother me too much like this Dragon Frontiers for example this one is like super bent up it's super broken down like I don't see an actual reason to get this one graded so I won't put it with the top loaders oh another fake card I think these are fakes coming up here too. And lastly, Beedrill. Okay, let's move on to this one. It's so weird. These binders are like built out, so it's like backwards on one side. So interesting. Okay, let's see. We have a Shelgon Delta Species from Dragon Frontiers. Yeah, I, I really have a ton of these Dragon Frontiers cards. Another one, a Ledian. This one is in, I mean, it's, it's kind of scratched up. They might give this one like a six or something. It's not chipped up. It's just scratched up. I'd rather have like a chip in the corner than scratches on the back. A uh, Smoochum, non-reverse hollow. There we go. So I can put that one in instead for the reverse hollow Smoochum that I know I'm going to get graded. Feebas. Yeah, Cyndaquil. Wooper. I was buying this set as a kid. Definitely. Definitely, definitely, definitely. There's a ton of cards. I still would have to say Team Galactic is going to be one of my favorite villains too. Still. From the games, like I just feel like they built out their their characters really nicely. Uh, it's Delta Species Snorlax with the gold borders. What a shame, the card isn't in fantastic condition, but Charmander, this one's kind of fried. Ouch. And let's see, on this page, lastly, an Aerodactyl. Oh, baby, here we go. Which one's fake, which one's real? All right, so this one is fake. This one is real. There's a little comparison for you guys. Delta Species Swablu, Flareon, Yan Mega, Totodile, Dugong Delta Species. Oh, baby, we got a couple of these. Okay. The condition on this one is not bad, but it's good to see that we can put this in a top loader and know there's a replacement Dugong. Oh, we have an EX Power Keepers. Nice card. Dragonair Dratini. Oh, very cool. But this Duskull. Fantastic condition. Reverse hollow, I believe. Oh, no. Oh, no! Yo! Oh, my goodness! What was going on in this back binder? Wow, my brother and I, uh, as a kid, we both got a pack of cards for Christmas. And so I was like, oh, I want that one. He's like, oh, I want this one. He pulled this, and I was so jealous. But I always told him, keep it in good condition, keep it in good condition. And here it is, shoved in the back of a binder years and years later. We thought it was missing, actually, because we always were joking about this. Wow, I'm going to make sure I get this all top loaded in nice form. Maybe it'd be cool if I get it, like, PSA graded form. But I just know this is so nostalgic. We're seeing it, just, like, I'm, I'm mind blown. I, I could have sworn maybe my mom potentially threw it out. Let's see what else we have in here. We have a Shaman, one of those secret legendaries. I remember I used to do the walkthrough wall glitch on the uh, where you'd go to fight the Elite Four in Diamond and Pearl or Platinum, whatever game it was. And I'd walk through the walls, go through the garden, and catch the Shaman. We also have a Holographic Moltres, which I had, of course, the beautiful liberty of writing, uh, let's see, 1,000 on the damage and everything, even though I wasn't too uh proficient in playing the game i certainly wanted my cards to stand out so adding that of course was a perfect touch 
you know what I can do with this? Like, there's a way you can get this off. Just some rubbing alcohol and a little Q-tip. This Arbok is kind of cooked. Uh, no use putting it in the top loader, but we'll instead have it for set building. And, I mean, I'm still shook about that Armadillo just because, like I said, my brother and I have been looking for that card for, for a very long time. Oof, look at the fakeness on this one. Yeesh. That's rough. Platinum right here. I mean, Platinum was just one of the sets we also grew up on. Wonder what some of these final cards are going to contain right here. Hopefully not too many fakes, but going into it, it looks like we got some EX Power Keepers fakes, which is unfortunate. Just you know, double check that Kyogre right there. Let's see, we'll pull out the Milk Tank. It's a decent Milk Tank, so I'll penny sleeve this Milk Tank right here. But let's see what, what lies in, in this. Electric, Licky Tongue, Muck, Vulpix, Octillery, Regigigas. Yo, let's go to end off strong, a Blastoise. Two 132 and a Latias, another one of those Pokeball promos. Wish I really knew what this Pokeball set was all about, but yo, ending off on two hollows, uh, perfect. I actually have only two penny sleeves left, so I feel like that made out for an excellent video. So what'd you guys think of this? If you want to see more of going through my childhood cards, let me know. I still have a couple more things to do. We could also do some binder tours, what I've been saving, and not to mention, we still have so many things to open, so much new product wow i really do only have two top loaders left too this was really appreciate you sticking through watching the whole thing make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you're brand new around here really big portion of my life right now is sorting and going through cards so i'm putting my time in and hopefully you guys can really see that and appreciate the grind so thank you for watching to boy blazing dairy signing out stay positive and peace out little bit of bonus footage found these hollows i mean they're beautiful beautiful hollows so gonna get these all in top loaders put this one in the top loader just now too that would maybe that's what made me want to come out and get the camera real quick just because i found them uh going through the same sets that you guys just saw so it's really cool you know it's like if you buy these packs online they're like 60 bucks but here i am pulling all the rares right from my childhood